Hello Spartans and welcome back to another Blade and Sorcery video. It's been a while since we've played Blade and Sorcery and that's because I was really waiting for this update to be honest. And there's a lot of good, there's a little bad, we'll get around to it. Let's discover most of what's in this update. Now, I'm not going to go through the dungeons, that's going to be a separate video. We're just going to go through all the basic new little features that I can really think of. So, to start off, yes, you've probably lost all of your mods. Now, things like Medieval Mega Pack, you can just go into the manifest file and change the thing to uh, 11 rather than 10, and it'll work. So, that will do the job there. Otherwise, other mods you're going to have some problems with. Now, I have Butter Stabbed and Sectory. Sectory is available on the Amnesia Discord. I'll link the Discord in the description below in the beta mod drops. Now, Sectory is a little buggy at the moment, but we're going to try it out. But let's get into the vanilla features first. So, if we head over to the weapon book. First thing you'll notice is I'm looking at it the wrong way. And the second thing you'll notice is there's some new stuff. So, we have the skinning knife, which you actually can't equip. That is a bug. You have to spawn it. And it's the little knife that is actually really interesting. Uh, now, I don't have the NPC spawner spell, so we can't test it out, but we will put that on our holster. And we'll try it out. We also have the Antique Greatsword. Now, we can actually see the tiers of the weapons as well now. But look at this. This looks so nice. Let's get in the light. Looks really cool. And this can't be imbued, but it looks awesome. So we're going to put that on our back as well. Now, what else do we have? I think the other weapon that got added in. We have the Javelin, which is really cool. Nice throwing spear. Should be really fun to mess around with. So we'll try that out in a bit. And we also have our mallet. Now we're going to grab the mallet. We're also going to grab a javelin. And we're going to start a wave. And we're going to test out the weapons first. So as you can see, these actually use the same handle, if I'm correct. Yeah, they're just slightly changed. So they use the exact same, probably use the same model, just change the head on it, really. But uh, we're going to give this a go. So, Javelin. How does it perform with the stabby stab? Not bad. Not bad at all. A bit janky to throw. But that's fine. Let's try the mallet. Oh, that's cool. Ow. I really just pulled my cable out. That hurt. There we go. Okay, and the last weapon I'm gonna try out here, or the second to last weapon actually, is the antique greatsword. And it works really well, actually. That's awesome. There we go. There's an arm. And there's a head. <laughs> nice. Now the last weapon is the skinning knife. Let's grab that. Okay, so I found a bug. Uh, once the skinning knife is sheathed, it cannot be unsheathed. Funny. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's spawn one. And... Uh, nice. Awesome. One thing I want to look at next is the combat changes. Now, there has been a complete animation rework, as well as, by the way, when I jump... My, uh, my character makes noise, so there is that, but when it comes to the animation rework, there's some good and there's some bad, so enemies are a lot more responsive to you parrying now, see how after an attack, she'll actually attack back, so the combat feels a little more active, in a way. But it also has some really bad problems. 
And um, we'll get to that in a minute. Now, I would say the main problem with the combat is enemies kind of just stand and let you kill them now. So, they won't, they won't really tend to fight back too much uh, unless you're actually actively parrying and countering, and then they'll react. So, if I parry, hit their weapon, you know, they will try to uh, hit back again very quickly. Otherwise, I'm not seeing too much progress made in the combat. Uh, but it is early days and they're still working on it, so bear in mind guys, there is a feedback form. I really do recommend you fill out a feedback form as accurately as possible to help the devs. See that? I countered and she reacted. Awesome. So, I think it's time we actually take a look at the magic. Let's start off with fire. Fire is pretty normal, with the fireballs. So, if we merge the fireball, we have a big fiery explosion, which is very cool. And we could just bomb right down on him. Oh wow, look at that. And he landed all the way over there, that's amazing. Okay, now, what else can fire do? Well, that, for that we need to get a staff. So let's get a staff and show off what else it can do. Let's cut the shaman staff and imbue this with fire. Now, of course, we still have the standard fireballs, although they act a little differently now. They have drop off, a little different, but we also have homing fireballs on the staff. So you will slam down, fireballs will go everywhere, and they'll actually home in on enemies, so that's really cool. All right, now moving on to lightning. Let's imbue our staff for later and pop it on our back. Now, if we get lightning out, obviously, I think it's a lot more powerful than it was before. More similar to U7 lightning. You can see it's a lot more active now. Seems a lot more powerful, in my opinion. Now, I don't know how quick it kills. Uh, it seems to still be a stun, really. Although it seems pretty powerful. And then we have this, which I actually don't really know how to use. And you pull it apart. You create a beam of lightning that is so incredibly powerful. And that is awesome. I love that. Now let's check out what it does on the staff. So first of all, let's see the slam. Is an is it a, it's like a, a world electrocute, right? And then here we have lightning arcing. So you can hold and you can cut off limbs and stuff. It's insane. So you, what you do is you hold and swing. And now we've lost power, so we want to re-imbue. And then... And we can cut parts off. It's so cool. And now the final one. Let's check out gravity. Now one thing that gravity does that the others don't do is obviously it makes items float when imbued. But it also makes things far easier to handle. Now with the gravity staff you can lift up objects. Uh, yeah. So that's really cool. It's like a better telekinesis in my opinion. And we also have the slam, which is obviously the standard gravity launch that we've always had. Now, the other things you can do with gravity are pretty insane. We obviously have the new sound effects and the push. And you can now propel yourself and hover with gravity, which is so cool. You can really get some cool Magic traversal here. Slow yourself down. Bring yourself backwards. Bring yourself forwards. It's insane. Um, I love it. I can't wait to see what more people do. Look how quickly you can just launch yourself up. And then just float around. Could even do that one-handed. Come in for the slash, you know? 
And I think you can... If I jump... Yeah, you can push yourself forward. Can you imagine? It's like... Look at that. Look at the utility. So awesome. Okay, so that isn't actually all. We have a few other things. So my health is quite damaged right now. We can hop over to consumables and actually just grab an apple. And eat the apple. And it does heal you. Which I think is really cool. I think that's really cool. Um, so yeah. You can get food. Which is basically just the apple. But the potential for mods is incredible there. We also have the zipline wheel, which I will show in a dungeon video at some point. But essentially, you just attach it to the zip lines and you can slide around them. It's pretty cool. And we now have the torch as an official item that we can actually spawn. And you can light the torch. And, yeah, it does its job, really. It's just a torch. Now, that isn't all. The one last thing I want to go through today, really, is just the armor system. Now... So if we click on the bandit's chest plate, gives us ours, and we put the new one on. And we can equip all of our new gear. Done. Now we have bandit gear on. And that looks awesome. I really like that. Okay guys, so I think that is everything I am going to go through today. We will have another video tomorrow going through the dungeons and the other aspects of combat and things like that. But if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. And if you didn't, let me know why. I will try to improve my content based on your guys' opinions. Anyway, see you guys later with some more U11 in a bit.